If you aren't careful, you could bring grandma a whole lot more than just gifts this holiday season. Oh, yeah, there's been a big jump in flu cases in the tri-state. And as medical reporter Liz Bonus tells us, it's likely to continue to spread. It is no accident that here at the Northern Kentucky Health Department, they have this educational sign, the 10 most common causes of infection, these 10. And we have a lot of reasons for you to wash your hands a little more often these days. First reason, your hands are one of the main ways you can pass along or even pick up the virus that causes the flu. And flu cases have jumped almost 50% in some parts of the tri-state this week, earlier than usual in the season. We're not sure exactly why we're seeing that increase uh, earlier this year, but we are watching it. It's Stephanie Vogel's job to watch it. She's in charge of population health here. Northern Kentucky gets actual cases of the flu reported. Hamilton County reports flu activity, such as emergency room visits. As for those reports that the flu vaccine is only 10% effective against the flu this year? The study that people are hearing about is out of Australia, and it's not uh, really comparable to our uh, what we see here in the United States, um, simply because we have differences in healthcare systems and our um, and how we vaccinate folks. You also can get a much milder case by getting the vaccine if you do catch the flu. It is your best protection against the flu, um, around especially around um, the holidays, and so it's a good time to get the vaccine and to be prepared before you hit those holiday gatherings and those family parties. So the bottom line is that if you really do want to enjoy the holiday season, a few of these recommendations could make a big difference. If you want to take a closer look at some of the numbers and the recommendations for not getting the flu, we have those for you at Local12.com. At the Northern Kentucky Health Department in Edgewood, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. The Northern Kentucky Health Department does still have flu vaccine if you're not able to get one through your doctor's office, but there is usually a copay if you have insurance, but still we're told nobody will be turned away.